All right, this is for Algebra 2. This is Lesson 19, and we get to work with wonderful word problems. All of these, make sure, before I even start, get your book out if you don't have it out, because I want you to kind of follow along while we're reading these. And um, they're all going to be distance equals rate times time problems. But let's go ahead and read the first one. So here we go. Two trains, let me set my book up here. Two trains left the station at 8.30 a.m., traveling in opposite directions. The first train traveled at 50 miles per hour and the second at 90 miles per hour. What time will it be when the trains are 350 miles apart? Okay, no biggie. Listen to what you want to do on every single one of these. This is number one. I want you to do one of these little special rectangular boxes here. And what you're going to do, I usually come a little bit over. I like this big... I like this box just a little bit bigger, and then I cut this one in half, okay? And <clears throat> it looks just like this, and above it I'm going to write distance equals rate times time because we're going to have two different scenarios. We had two different trains here, so over here I'm going to call this train one, and this one's train two, train two, okay? So I'm just kind of leaving myself some little notes. Now what you're going to want to do is just fill this in. This R stands for the rate. So if you'll read your problem, who cares about what time they left at this point, but it says the first train traveled at 50 miles per hour. So right here under the rate, I know this guy went 50, and the other train went 90 miles per hour, okay? Now, they left the station at the same time. So this is my little station. They're going in opposite directions, okay, like that. And they're going to they're gonna eventually be 350 miles apart. Okay, so this total distance right here is going to end up being 350 miles. What I don't know is how long they traveled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in T for time. Now they did have the same amount of time. They left at the same time. So those are the same. And in this little box, you're going to always multiply these two together. So 50 times T is 50T. 90 times T is 90T. So this right here is the distance that train one went. Here is the distance that train two went. And I know together, if you add them together, they're gonna to be 350. So I'm gonna add this together. And this is my equation, I want to see. So here's what I wanna see. I wanna see your box with all your pieces filled in. I wanna see an equation, okay? And then we're gonna solve this. We get 140T equals 350. If you divide both sides by 140, get out your handy-dandy calculator, you get 2.5. Okay, so what is 2.5? We were talking miles per hour, so this must be 2.5 hours. So that's how long train one traveled. In fact, they both traveled two and a half hours. But what does it ask me? It asks me what time will it be, okay, when they are that far apart. Well, if they left at 8.30, and we're talking they traveled two and a half hours. Well, two hours later is what, 10.30, and then a half an hour, another 30 minutes. So we're talking 11 o'clock a.m. So you always have to kind of look to see, use the information that you found to get the answer that you need, okay? So let's try number two. I spent a little bit more time on that one than probably necessary. Before I even read it, I can go ahead and make my box because I can guarantee it's going to be a distance problem. Here we go. Remember, I come over. I want this box to be bigger. Okay, and then I go distance equals rate times time. And let's see what our two scenarios are, okay? All right, so back to the book. I have a horse who trotted at 12 miles per hour and then he walked at 5 miles per hour. Okay, I'm quitting right there. I've got trotting and I've got walking. There's my two scenarios. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write this first case, we're trotting. Here we are walking. Okay? When he trotted, he went 12 miles per hour, so that's his rate. When he walked, he only went 5 miles per hour, okay? Now, it went a total distance of 39 miles. Keep reading, and it says the total trip took 5 hours. Okay, I don't know how long he ran or trotted, and I don't know how long he walked, so I'm just going to call this T. What I do know is the total trip took five hours. So the way you're going to want to write this is five minus t. That's going to be, notice if I add these two together, I get five because the total trip took five hours. And so pick one, call it t, and let the other one be however the total trip took minus t. Okay, do you remember what goes here? 
Distance equals rate times time, so just multiply these two together. So 12 times t is 12t. Okay. If you multiply these two together, remember you're taking 5 times both of these terms. So you're going to get 5 times 5 is what, 25? And then 5 times negative t is what, negative 5t? So I'm going to fill that in in this block. 25 minus 5t. Okay. Now, the total distance was 39. So here's the distance that he trotted. Here's the distance that he walked. You add these two together, so let's write out my equation. And that total distance, what does it say? I'm flicking my eyeballs up there, is 39. Okay, 12t minus 5t is what, 7t? Move your 25 to the other side. 39 minus 25 is what, 14? So t equals 2. Okay, now, what is t? Come back up here, t is the time that he trotted. So he obviously trotted for two hours. Now, what did he even ask for? It said, how long did the horse trot and how long did it walk? So he trotted, I'm gonna write this down, for two hours, which means he walked, and you can do this. I mean, this one's not too hard, but look, if you wanted to know, here's walking, you know t is two, so five minus two is three. I doubt on this one, you really don't have to, um, can do that one mentally pretty easily. But just kind of know that you can always go back up to that little chart to figure it out. Okay, let's do number three real quick. I'm turning my page here, sorry. Okay, again, I could, before I even start, because I can see real quick as I glanced up there that we got another distance problem. So I'm going to make my box. Yes, I want you to make your box. I want you to fill it out, distance equals rate times time, just like this, and look for your two scenarios. So here we go. The prodigal son and his father began running toward each other when they were one mile apart. Okay, so it looks like we have a son and the father, and they're going to be running towards one another. So I'm going to let this be the son. There's my two cases here. This is going to be the father. Okay, now let's see what we know. The father ran at a rate of 10 miles an hour, and the son, who was weak and tired, only ran at a rate of 5 miles an hour. So here we go. The father ran, that's his rate, at 10 miles per hour. The son ran only 5 miles per hour. Okay? Let's see what else we want to know. How long did it take for them to meet? Okay. Now, when they saw each other, a mile apart, they both started running toward each other. So they're running for the same amount of time till they finally hit each other and hug and all that good stuff. So again, what am I going to write here is rate times time. So I'm going to multiply these two together. So I've got 5t. I'm going to multiply these two together. So I've got 10t. Okay. Now think about it. Here they are. They're one mile apart. They're going to run together. They're running together. And they're going to hug. This total distance they're going to cover is one mile. So the distance that the son went plus the distance the father went is going to equal to 1. So you've got 15t equals 1. So t equals 1 15th. Now, what does it even ask for? <clears throat> How long did it take them to meet? Well, we were talking miles per hour. So it took them 1 15th okay, of an hour. Remember, there are 60 minutes in an hour, so what I can do, if I want to know really how long this is, since there's 60 minutes in an hour, I can multiply this times 60, okay? 15 goes into 60 four times, so I'm actually left with four minutes. So we actually got to do a conversion problem as well. Love that. Okay, let me look and see here. I wanted to do one more. Got two many papers. <clears throat> no, sorry, we're just pausing for one moment. Please hold. Okay, there we go. Well, let's do number four real quick. How much time have we done? Nine minutes. Okay, let's look at number four again. I'm going to do my box real quick. When I look at number four, Madison walked north at three miles per hour. Logan left one hour later, and he walked south. At five miles per hour. Okay, so we've got Madison and we've got Logan. So let's fill those in. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to fill in my chart. I've got my two scenarios. I've got Madison and I've got Logan right there. 
I'm going to fill in that distance equals rate times time. I probably should say that at least under your breath because you will accidentally memorize that. It said that Madison went north at three miles per hour. So look, he's doing this. There's Madison. Logan is walking south at five miles per hour. So look, they're going opposite directions. Obviously, he's going faster. He's going to go further if they're going the same amount of time. But let's look. Madison, what does it say? Logan left one hour later. Okay, so I don't know how long he went. Let's call this T. Who left one hour? Logan left one hour later. So if he traveled, I don't know how long he traveled, but this guy traveled one hour later. So we're going to go T minus one, okay, because he didn't travel as long, okay? It wants to know what time it was when they were 19 miles apart, okay? Well, we know what goes in here. How do you get this box? You always multiply these two together. So you're going to do 3t. Multiply these two together. Don't remember, don't forget. Sorry. You're going to take 5 times both of these. So we're going to get 5t minus 5. When I add those together, it wanted to know the distance to get 19 miles apart. So look what we've got. 6t. Excuse me. I made a mistake. Isn't that a 5 right there? 5t minus 5, okay, well duh, that's going to give me 8t, add 5 to both sides, okay, so t is going to equal 3. What did you just find? 3. That means Madison went for 3 hours. It wants to know what time was it when they were 19 miles apart. Well, Madison left at 2.30, he traveled for 3 hours, so it's going to be 5.30, just add 3 hours to that. And that should be it right there. Okay, I am going to try to squish in one more. I've done this 12 minutes, but number five is, well, it's just a maybe a little different. So if you still need help, go ahead and watch number five or watch part of this now and watch part of it later. But again, we're going to start all these the same. We're going to have our little chart here. Now look, the first part of my trip I could average only 40 miles per hour. Later, so you got a second part of the trip, I was able to travel at 65 miles per hour. So my two scenarios is at my first part of the trip and the last part of the trip. So here's, I'm gonna put this in. This is the first part of my trip. I don't care how you do this. This is my second part of my trip. Here, I went 40 miles per hour. Here, I went 65 miles per hour. It took me seven hours, okay? I traveled for seven hours. I don't know how long I traveled at this rate, okay? But together, I went seven hours. So remember, this is a lot like that other one that we did earlier. This is going to be seven minus t, okay? Because the total trip, look, if you add those together, you get seven. Make sure you always put the total trip first minus the time you already went. Now, what goes in this distance spot? Multiply these two together. That's 40t. 65 times seven. Ugh. 65 times 7, I don't know, 455. 65 times T, I can handle that one. Okay, the total trip was 360 miles. So I'm going to add these two distances together. Here's the first leg of my trip. Here's the second leg of my trip. Those two distances together added up to 360. Checking my work there. If I combine these, what does that give me? Negative 25t. Subtract 455 from both sides. So use your little calculators, okay? Don't miss it because of that. But that is going to give me what? Negative 95, I believe. Divide both sides by negative 25 to get t by itself. And I get t equals 3.8. So what did you just find? t is 3.8. That means I went 3.8 hours on my first leg, okay? And it says, how long did I travel at each rate? So I traveled 3.8 hours at 40 miles per hour. So for th I traveled, you'd say 3.8 hours at, what was it, 40 miles per hour? Which means, Mary went a total of seven hours. So take seven minus 3.8, seven minus 3.8, I believe is 3.2. So I went 3.2 hours at 65 miles per hour. All right, so there you go. Give that a whirl.